If you have a dog who sheds, I am sure that you have heard of the grooming products called Furminator. And I'm guessing you may have heard that even though it's an effective line of tools and products, it could be damaging your dog's skin and coat. The truth about it is somewhere in the middle. I personally believe that the Furminator has a time and a place and that it's better off in the hands of a professional. But this is a whole other topic for a whole other video. Today, we're skipping the Furminator and looking for what else you can use instead. All right, let's start with our short coat friends and we'll work our way up to the thicker and longer undercoats. So what works best for a short coat? And this tool that I'm going to recommend, it's not very fancy, it doesn't have bells and whistles, and the price is very good on it. It's about $10, give or take, depending on where you look. But when it comes to getting out all of that hair, reach for a rubber curry brush. My personal favorite and what I use in my salon is actually technically marketed for cats, but I absolutely love the Wall Shetty. It's just simply one of the best curry brushes that I've ever used. It's dual sided and the nubs on them are actually blunted and I really like that. I find it gets out a lot of coat, especially on my short friends. And even at the height of the whole Furminator rage, I always found a place for a rubber curry brush. And in most cases, I always found that it reigns supreme. The thing I like about rubber curry brushes too is you can actually use it for applying shampoo as well. So it's multifunctional. If you do use it to apply shampoo, it really does help to get things loosened up, especially if you're using a de-shedding shampoo and conditioner. Speaking of, the Furminator shampoos and conditioners are under a lot of industry scrutiny, and I hear rumblings all the time about the ingredient changing and uh, certain rebranding rules for different countries, and I'm not sure how substantiated any of these claims are, but more and more I've been hearing about adverse reactions to the products themselves. Now, I'll be honest, it's been a few years since I've used their products and not for any of those reasons that I just said, but simply because I have some that I like better. So if you're looking for an alternative to the Furminator shampoo and conditioner lines, I've got a few suggestions for you. So I know the majority of you watching right now are actually pet parents and not professionals. So I'm going to recommend to you a few products that I know are available in pet stores. So they're readily available for you to purchase. My first recommendation for you is the TropiClean Shed Control Shampoo and Conditioner line. Now I'll be honest, I've yet to try the shampoo, but I like the conditioner well enough to at minimum recommend it. It works well, I like the way it lathered. It's uh, a little thick, but super easy to work with and did a good job of de-shedding. Also, in terms of transparency, I'll be honest, always opt for a de-shedding conditioner over a shampoo if you can only get one or the other. Your shampoo can focus on a good clean if you prefer, but if you're looking to maximize impact, you can certainly use both of the products in the de-shedding line. And in terms of the TropiClean, if the shampoo is as pleasant as the conditioner, I'm sure it will pass the test as an alternative. And as I said, readily available. Another one that I've definitely seen in pet stores is Earth Bath, and they make a line called Shed Control as well, and it is widely available. And although I don't have experience with their de-shedding line personally, I have used other products by them. So I'd also give them a try if you're looking for something as an alternative to the Furminator shampoos and conditioners. Now, if you're interested, what do professionals tend to use? Well, I myself personally like to use Best Shot Ultra Max shampoo and conditioner. I'm not entirely certain it comes in a standard bottle, but just the gallon size, I'm pretty sure. So it would be expensive, but it does dilute well and it lasts a long time, but you do have to be careful with expiry dates. So it may not be good if you're just looking to do this at home. A couple other professional products that I can highly recommend are Nature Specialty and iGroom's de-shedding lines. They come in smaller bottles, I'm pretty sure. So those might be great options if you're looking for somewhat of an upgrade. Okay, let's move on to some more of those medium coat lengths. Not short, short, but not long either. Besides the curry brush, that still works quite nicely. To do a job like a professional, you'll need a fine tooth comb. Between those two products, you should be able to get a lot of the hair out. But if you need a boost, you can try out the Equigroom, but keep in mind that this is somewhat similar to the Furminator. 
The difference is that the edge of it is less serrated and more blunted, so it's definitely safer for at-home use, but please, Use sparingly and after you use the curry brush and the comb so it's not doing the bulk of the work for you, just as a finishing touch, let's say. But I promise you, you will be surprised by how much a fine tooth comb will make a huge difference. My one dog has a medium length coat and it's kind of like a coarse texture. And what I get out with the curry and the comb is <laughs> crazy. You would think he would have no hair left. All right, we're on to long and thick coats. And after we're done with that, I'm going to give you a tool that actually works for any of these coats. Long, short, you name it, it's gonna make the biggest difference. But let's talk about these tools first and getting all that undercoat out of those long hair dogs. And I'm talking about Huskies, Malamutes, Great Pyrenees, Bernese Mountain Dogs, Goldens, Collies, all of those kind of coats. Keep in mind, all of the tools for short hair dogs still work well and carry over, so make sure you have a curry, a fine tooth comb, and an equigroom. They all have their place here. So, besides those, what to start with is a slicker brush, preferably one with long pins so it gets right down in there and gets all of that undercoat out. And it will also help to demat. So once you've made your way throughout the entire coat with the slicker brush, you're gonna wanna grab a undercoat rake. And this is really gonna take out a lot of bulk. So really focus on areas like the chest and the back of the legs where hair tends to grow quite long and thick. And then you can move in with your fine tooth comb. If you hit snags, just pop back in with the slicker brush and brush out those spots and detangle them and then go back in with the comb after. So once that's done, I usually use the equigroom sparingly on the fronts of the legs where the hair tends to be short. You'll be surprised at what comes out there and then finish it off with the curry brush to get any of that loose hair out. So it's definitely a bigger job, but this is how professionals can get all of that hair out and it's all about the tools. But I did promise you a tool for everyone that's really gonna do a fantastic job and really get a lot of that coat out. And it's something that professionals regularly use even for de-shedding, and that is a high velocity dryer. It is not just for blow drying after a bath. Well, I mean, it is for that, but it works amazingly to loosen up and blow out all types of coats, particularly ones with a lot of undercoat. But make sure you do this outside because it will get messy and it will look like it's snowing an entire dog. I actually put together a list of the five best and most affordable dryers with the cheapest being only $59 and that's crazy. You can check that out in this video right here. Bye. <laughs>